What's good everybody and in today's lock video I'm going to be talking about the major upcoming update that's been hinted at for a while now. Now just to keep this video somewhat organized I'm going to talk about all the confirmed stuff first then we're going to talk about some of the likely but not confirmed things and then we're going to kind of you know start reaching for the stars and just talking about just random suggestions that would seem cool to be in the game. So yeah with that being said let's go ahead and talk about what we do know is going to for sure be in this next update. First up we got the new sneak. Now if you didn't know already the new sneak is Corona's weapon Planet Hotline. You can tell by just judging from the effects on the actual weapon itself, the reaction under the sneak, and the fact people have been begging for this weapon for a month. You know it's pretty obvious. Now before I attempt to kind of break down this ability for you guys, let's talk about what Planet Hotline does in general. First off, Planet Hotline is specifically a support ability. You essentially act as a reliable support unit for short and smooth pass exchanges. And as you can see by this photo right here, the pass exchanges are so smooth and precise that it kind of confuses the defense. So yeah, if you get caught in between these exchanges, you're pretty much a training cone on the field. So yeah, very simple weapon, but that is Planet Hotline. And uh, let's try and connect the dots and see how that'll correlate to these three sneaks we just got. So obviously, as you can see, we got three sneaks, which means probably three abilities, which I think is absolutely insane for a support weapon. But I feel like it's actually bigger than just Planet Hotline. I think this is going to actually extend over to all the other weapons, but we're going to talk a little bit more on that later. Anyways, for the first and second sneak, in terms of how much ground it covers, they look very similar. But if you do look closely, there are some crucial differences. The first sneak is just one huge blast of galaxy, which is kind of the same as the second. But the first sneak, it almost looks like a dash. But as we know, Planet Hotline is a support weapon. So my assumption for the first move is kind of like a really, really fast one to exchange. And obviously, since this looks like a very like fast ability, uh, I feel like this would be a one to exchange that's really fast and covers a decent amount of ground. But hey, that's my assumption, and honestly, it could be a dash if they went the more simple route, but I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't be too big of a fan if they did this. If they gave a support weapon a dash, and they don't even have explosive acceleration in the game yet, like, that'd be kind of crazy. So, I'm going to just go with the quick one to exchange for my final guess on this uh, sneak. Now, for the second sneak, uh, it's once again a blast of galaxy, but something I noticed about this one is that it actually procs three times. And each time it procs, it has a different visual like every time like each like sneak has a uh, you know the visual effects keep going on and off on and off but this one is actually the only sneak that has a different visual for each and every single uh, proc and because of this i feel like this ability is probably going to be the main like planet hotline ability and it's probably going to last a decent amount of time now i may be reaching for this assumption so don't take my word for it but i think how this ability will actually work is is if you're close with a teammate and you actually proc this ability, you just go back and forth with passes and covering a decent amount of ground, maybe not as far as the dash, but anybody inside this like uh, planet thing, planet explosion, whatever you want to call it, uh, will actually be stunned. Kind of similar to web. So pretty much if you get in between those passes, you're most likely cooked. And uh, if they actually did go this route with that move, it would be pretty insane. So it would definitely have a pretty hefty cooldown that is most likely affecting the other moves. So now for our third and final Planet Hotline sneak, it seems like we have some sort of mid to long range pass. The visual for this one looks pretty cool. If you look closely, it's kind of like a portal with a like visual coming out of it. And for the actual ability itself, I feel like it's going to be a really fast straight pass. And this might be reaching, but I feel like this is actually going to be an auto tracking pass. To keep it a buck though, it might be a bit unrealistic for an auto tracking pass to be in a game like Locked. But at the same time, I just can't see you being able to freely pass this shot or, you know, pass wherever you want. Because like I just confused it as, if you can freely move around with this, like, you can pretty much get a shot off similar to Kunigami. What I'm guessing, like, based on the visuals, of course. And if they let that slide, like Planet Hotline would be a striker weapon 100%. It would not be a support weapon. Because all those abilities on top of a shot would quite literally make this weapon one of, if not the best in the game. So like if they didn't do an auto tracking pass, like I could pretty I, I could possibly see like a very like mid to short range uh pass type thing instantly, like kind of like Emperor, except it doesn't go far at all. Like you could be just outside the box and that John is not going anywhere near the goal. Like may, like if they did that, that'd be pretty solid. Like it would be strictly for passing, not for shooting. So yeah, though, uh, that's about it for my Planet Hotline predictions. Uh, once again, though, it's really up in the air what these abilities will truly do. But hey, to say the least, I'm excited. 
now that's about it for um what's confirmed and what can possibly be in planet hotline's kit but obviously this isn't all we're getting in this update because if you guys haven't noticed already this is actually the official update too like we've had sword screw godspeed uh all those updates but we have never had an official update too like we only got up to 1.5 until they started doing these smaller updates so yeah this update is gonna be big like think back to update one we got two weapons one trait a whole team system an event and a bunch of reworks and also some smaller gameplay changes but to say the least this was a pretty content packed update and this is only an assumption but i feel like they've had more time to work on update two than they have update one and also there's a lot more suggestions and stuff the community wants they have to work with so even though our next part right here is like stuff that's not really confirmed i still feel like this stuff has a very very high chance of getting put into this next update so yeah let's get on with our first prediction so this is actually a rework and uh this is the nagi weapon rework now not only has the community been demanding for this to happen it's also lined up right with the nagi movie because if you didn't read the announcement uh the update's actually coming out on the 28th which is you know when the nagi movie releases so yeah uh back to the rework so nagi itself isn't a bad weapon at all like it's honestly an amazing weapon and is really dangerous on the pit but if you compare nagi from you know the game and the nagi like how he uses his weapon in the actual show it is completely different nagi in the show is the most versatile player we have ever seen he's pretty much able to do anything off the trap now compare that to what we have in game yeah pretty much like two sides of an entire different coin like these are not the same at all like the nagi we have you pretty much trap it in the air and you have two options you either shoot or you get shut down that's it it's pretty much a one trick very very slow ability just for the simple fact you have to literally wait until the animation is done before you can do anything so yeah like i said you either get shot or shut down your best chance at scoring is getting real close to the keeper in the box or even just outside the box i mean like i said not a bad weapon but just not good compared to uh, what we should have so for the actual rework itself i think you should have three choices of action one being you shoot a decently powered shot off the trap two being you faint instantly into another trap and three being you flick it into a dribble and i also feel like this should have a passive to where instead of just like when you flick an m1 in the air like instead of chest trapping you actually trap it normally like with your foot for like a short amount of time like it would just be a cool little addition and even though you have a lot of options like this wouldn't really be overpowered at all like as long as they balance it right don't go crazy with the iframes like this can be a very solid balanced ability that everybody has fun with so yeah uh you guys let me know how you feel about that nagi rework suggestion uh if you would add something else into it if you uh feel like nagi shouldn't be reworked in general and you think it does its anime counterpart justice and uh if you feel that way you're capping um but yeah uh, just let me know how y'all feel in the comments but yeah anyways on to the next thing now this next prediction might be a bit far-fetched so you can view this how you want like if you think this is never going to come into the game if you think maybe at some point it is or if you think it's going to come this exact update uh just view it however you want but yeah my prediction is that there will be some form of weapon evolution or a variation added into uh most weapons now before i go ahead and talk about what uh you know variations might be added in let me actually explain to you guys why i actually think this is going to come into the game so if you're active in the community you can see a lot of players have been recently finding this game a bit boring now obviously there are ways to make this game a lot more fun on your own but we're talking about the base game here and to keep it 100 percent honest all you do in the base game is grind up for your build maybe play autos a bit with your buddies and then uh that's about it and i almost forgot tournaments but i mean it's not really base game gameplay because you kind of got to wait for it so uh yeah and honestly i feel like if you give the community a new goal like weapon evolutions to evolve their weapon it'll give people more of the uh of a reason to actually play the game at least the base game because me personally i play a lot of scrimmages and league matches but i can't even fake it i do not touch autos like i only touch autos for you guys you feel me because uh you guys are my supporters and i appreciate you guys a lot but other than that i do not touch autos so yeah not only would weapon evolutions give something for people to grind for it would also give you more satisfaction when actually getting a weapon you want because pretty much no weapon in this game has any variety to it it's pretty much just a one trick thing like emperor real fast shot direct shot real fast shot uh riptide curve shot nagi trap for a very long time like it's 
it, it needs some variation added into it and i'm not saying give every single weapon a variation even like something as simple as a passive like for direct shot you have a faster m2 charge up when you don't have the ball emperor faster m2 charge up when you do have the ball formless higher jump speed like some simple stuff like that like every weapon doesn't need three moves four moves stuff like that but anyways let's get on to uh the actual variations so for my first one nagi and uh, we just talked about that so i shouldn't have to explain it again for my second one is riptide like riptide i'm not gonna lie this absolutely needs a straight shot back and if it just gets the straight shot back like you know how you proc it to either the left or the right if you could do it in the middle I feel like people would absolutely love that like no matter how powerful it is like as long as it gets the straight shot back like you're gonna actually start seeing riptide users genuinely have fun with the weapon again and for the next variation emperor like i said earlier faster m2 speed when you have the ball but also it should probably get its bicycle kick like i'm not 100 percent sure on like the best way it should function but uh maybe when you're jumping in the air and pressing r like it procs and maybe only goes for half of emperor's cooldown it doesn't go as fast and uh, i don't know they could cook up whatever with that but lots of people have been wanting this next variation uh just give serpent old IQ back uh <laughs> like quite literally every serpent defender i know has been begging for this to come back and it's just very simple to add back like literally just reuse your own assets and just put it as a passive in serpent just please so these defenders can stop bro please um but yeah um for king obviously it already has some sort of variation but i feel like it should kind of be changed up a bit like my personal recommendation is that you should be able to use however many chops wherever and whenever you want so it's not a basic three chops each and every single time so if you want to use one chop you can use one chop and it doesn't punish you for a long cooldown or if you want to use two chops you kind of get something in the middle and if you want to go with the basic three chops you can do that as well and i also feel like a small little change is that you should be able to do the king shot off of the chop like anywhere you want instead of just inside the box but yeah there's many things they could do with weapon variations and i could go on and on with each and every single possible variation each and every weapon can get but to say the least i feel like every weapon should at least get a passive like if it doesn't have a super cool like addition variation extra ability added to its kit it should at least have a passive like faster m2 speed off of volley with direct or something like that but yeah that's about it for variations for now like i can make a whole different video on it i honestly love talking about that stuff but uh yeah let me know if you guys want that so our next thing is the event they're going to be doing for this update now like i said earlier the first update in the game had a valentine's update and this game is update two so naturally it should have an event as well and on top of that the nagi movie also perfectly aligns with it so maybe we're gonna get a pretty pretty fun update maybe another game mode and it's obviously gonna be pretty successful everybody's gonna play it like the valentine's update like even though the valentine's update was kind of lazy like in my opinion it was still very successful like a lot of people were grinding for those flowers or whatever now for update 2's actual event i'm not too sure if it's going to be something like the valentine's update like you just grind for like soccer balls or something like that i really wouldn't be too big of a fan of that so i actually think they're gonna add like a new game mode possibly i feel like what would make the most sense is adding in like a second selection game mode where when you're in it you rise up from 3v3 all the way up to a 5v5 and then maybe a bigger game at the end and the further you go in this event is the more in-game or event currency you get and most likely like the stuff you can buy at that currency is obviously yen and possibly like maybe a corona or a nagi emote pack even though i got no clue what emotes they do uh you know they're probably gonna do something like that but yeah anyways uh that's about it for like the like kind of confirmed not confirmed part of the video now i'm gonna go ahead and just go crazy with the predictions just start reaching for the stars and uh yeah so first up we got uh predator eye now y'all don't understand how long i've been waiting for this trait to be added like when they went on that update streak of like giving king a shot giving borrow emotes like i genuinely thought the next trait we were gonna be getting was predator eye because you know it just made sense like i was hyped bro i, I convinced my brain into thinking that this like predator eye was guaranteed coming the next update and then after all of that guess what trait we got we got consistent now this is a bit off topic but consistent bro like nobody in their right mind is using a trait like this like maybe one person out there is rocking consistent but come on bro like like bro 
like if you use consistent bro let me know like i'm gonna be super surprised if you genuinely rock this like trait but if you do you might not be good at the game like we got all these weapons in blue lock they could have possibly add well not weapons but all these traits in blue lock they could have possibly added and they add consistent like whoever thought up of adding this weapon in the game you need to be taken out the lab immediately bro stop cooking hang up the coat like we have a 15 percent cooldown flow already like we don't need consistent bro like that's that's kind of just lazy and on top of that bro y'all got a whole community like giving these crazy good trait suggestions like good and bad like come on bro but anyways back on topic uh predator eye is just something that needs to be added to the game and uh when it does it needs to be just as capable on attack as metavision is on defense it would just make the most sense but yeah uh enough predator eye on to our next suggestion and uh my suggestion is double trades obviously there needs to be some sort of quest or grinding that needs to be done to actually obtain two trades like maybe a difficult wildcard event that risk your you know risk something on you like but that's a whole nother topic anyways uh two traits sounds very op and if you stack the right things together it very much is but if the developers play their cards right they could make it pretty balanced like something one of the people in my community discord said is uh you can't like stack certain traits together like you can't stack two defending traits or two shooting traits so like things like bunnies and athlete like you can't stack those and have superhuman jumps or metavision and tank and have insanely huge hitbox just as long as you can't get two traits under the same category it should be fine and maybe like they can go out of their way to make some like changes like maybe if they feel like maybe two traits together is too overpowered they can just remove it and uh yeah but yeah like two traits would honestly make this game much more difficult and fun just more thrilling in general to actually win a match in autos because all people have to rely on right now is just their regular skill and their weapon and like i talked about earlier like weapons are very one-dimensional so it's just purely your skill and right now the gap between bad players and really really good players is super big so like if you're a good player and you go to autos and you go against someone with two traits maybe like it'll be a bit more fun because there's actually more you have to worry about than like some autos dribbles and add weapon variations on top of that like it would honestly be a much more fun game but i don't know that's just my opinion and honestly the like builds with two traits would go absolutely crazy like people can rock metavision or puppeteer and not be completely outclassed by someone who has long strides or bunnies because what's stopping you from using like puppeteer and athlete or something and getting those physical buffs but also having that support buff like you could get the two gun volley with ambidextrous and quick draw um <laughs> even though those are uh both shooting weapons but anyways like players like kunigami definitely got that powerhouse like ambidextrous build shido got the bunnies no look combo spoilers ahead but kaiser got the prayer to eye metavision like i could go on and on like to say the least it just makes sense for two traits to be added in similar to all the stuff i just talked about with a bit of balancing like it could work perfectly but yeah that's about it for today's video um let me know what suggestions you guys liked what you didn't like you know what game modes would you like in the game for the events and whatnot uh but yeah most importantly let me know if you enjoyed the video and got this far but yeah uh peace you guys have a good one